A building management system and a military training aid, two concepts that would seem to have little in common. But ARCOS, an operating system for contemporary architecture created by researchers at the University of Plymouth, and Safe Aim Limited's simulated training system for military use, developed with help from the neighbouring Bournemouth University, are both examples of advanced use of smart technology. The idea of a smart system is that it uh, has embedded in it, or has embedded in a traditional system, you know, like, like a car or any kind of mechanical um, process, uh, a level of intelligence which allows it, it to have some um, responsive uh, ability to its environment or, or indeed to its own mechanism. So uh, a system which knows when it's broken down could be said to be smart. The University of Plymouth Centre of Research for Interactive Digital Media, IDAT, is based in the University's Portland Square building where they have developed ARCOS both to manage the building systems and to encourage those working in the building to interact more closely with their surroundings. Uh, what our system does actually uh, it tries to make the inhabitants of the building a little bit more intelligent by showing them the systems that they're interacting with and in some way giving them a responsibility or a sense of responsibility about their impact on all of the aspects of a building that they might not actually be too familiar with. So for instance, energy consumption, uh, water consumption, uh, the, what happens to the building when they're not actually in it, uh, what happens to the building uh, when there's a lot of people in it and they're actually just focused on their, on their single activity. The ARCOS system is able to reveal the building in a particularly intelligent way. It monitors the energy system, exposing energy efficiencies, as well as tapping into the computer and communications networks and the environmental conditions. But more than this, ARCOS can use the data it gathers to create interactive experiences within the building, such as creating music based on the patterns of human movement through the public areas. It even has a random lift button to encourage occupants to experience other floors to those they would visit as part of their usual routine. So a smart system is the way forward for building management. ARCOS, uh, I think, is very important uh, as a future technology because it actually involves people in the solution. It's not just about slapping on technological solutions. It's about getting people to take responsibility for their behaviour. And that, I think, is something that um, every system has to deal with as a as future development. Clearly with an eye on future development, SafeAIM, also based in the southwest of England, has been creating military training aids for a number of years. Through a government initiative known as the Knowledge Transfer Partnership, they've been able to call on smart technology expertise from Bournemouth University to help develop their tank gunnery simulator. Studies have shown that suitable simulated training for soldiers in armoured fighting vehicles could save the UK taxpayer up to £1.5 million a year, as well as significantly reducing the environmental impact of training with live ammunition. We've now got on board the necessary expertise to develop commercial off-the-shelf systems, for want of a better word, in other words, low-level PCs, and make them compete in a market that historically is used quite high-end simulation systems. And the university was able to bridge that gap between what the technology was capable of doing at that high level and now what could it really do with the correct expertise imported in a low-based system. The simulator may look like a glorified video arcade game, but the similarity is misleading. The visual simulator has obvious connections to gaming, but it is the feedback element that makes this training aid so valuable. The courses are devised with specific aims, and students progress through training levels as they achieve their targeted grades. This makes accurate feedback a priority, and this is where a smart system is so important. Because it is for training, it's for real things, then you have to do all the calculations very, very accurately. For example, one of the things would be to calculate the plastic sort of effects, the, 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 the trajectory of the, of the shell, for example, and it just had to be very accurate. Uh, whereas for a game, you don't really care that much because everything is for fun rather than for the training. Uh, whereas for, for this, the, the, the training has to gain expertise and skills from this training. Therefore, the accuracy is the key difference. As these projects illustrate, there is a clear technological message. The future is smart.